Sorry, I haven't been here in a while, but I uh, decided to pull into the Salines, the old salt pans in Tamarin. And I love the brickwork and the old buildings, so uh, let's get the drone up. Let's do it. Pretty nice here isn't it and the thing that I also love about coming here is I'm completely on my own out in nature just enjoying this place and apparently they're going to be building a shopping centre here one day so it's important to take advantage of the beauty of this place right now. It's one of my favourite colours that blue that you can see on that door and how's this brickwork I mean I just love coming here the only thing is that I'm right by the road so as you can hear it's pretty noisy it's quite a busy road just here you can see cars go thundering along this section of the salt pans runs along the main road in Tamara known as Royal Road Although salt here is no longer harvested, it still remains a site of great historical significance. It's all stonework. I mean, it's just incredible all the way along here. I actually did a piece here a while back, but seeing as I now have a new drone, I thought, well, let's get it up again and uh, show you a, another perspective of this amazing area. And it's pretty windy, but uh, I think it's worth giving it a shot. I mean, look at these cool buildings. Look at that cool mountain over there. I mean, it's, it's lovely stuff. This is another part of Mauritius that tourists often don't get to see. You know, they, they often go to the beach. But this is just as cool, you know. This is old, historic Mauritius. In 1726, the Frenchman Jean-Dominique Gaudin built the first salt pans on the island. They were moved to the southwest of Mauritius later on due to the more hot and favourable conditions. Aren't oh, these cool, these old doors, very trendy with that colour. And I'd say these buildings are definitely a couple of hundred years old. I've spotted an open door to one of the buildings where salt used to be stored. Sorry, pretty grainy in here, not much light, but look at those old baskets and the old wall. Amazing. And look at that world-class view. This is part of the history of this area, Tamarin, part of the history of Mauritius. I love it. <laughs> This building was used for a short time by Barnes estate agents, but is currently empty. And I reckon that veranda could be a perfect place to fly my little DJI Mini 2 through. And that's me over there checking out the lay of the land. That's the thing with this drone, it's so tiny that it just begs to be flown through small, tight spaces. Slowly does it. Ah, success. In my trousers I managed to brush myself up against a plant and it's decided that it wants to hug me. This is the culprit, so watch out for those. And these as well, beware of thorns. But I actually want to take the opportunity while I'm sitting on this salt pan and actually just talk to you guys because it's something that I haven't done in a very long time. In fact, I don't think I've ever actually done it. Um, just about the future of this channel because of late I've started to feel like, you know, I've been doing it for quite a few years and I've gained all these subscribers and I'm extremely grateful for each and every one of you. But sometimes the videos that I'm producing, I just feel like it's not really me. It's not really what I want to be doing or saying. I need to take some time to think about how I'm going to continue making these videos for you guys because I do, I do enjoy it. Um, it's just maybe the content needs to change a little bit. Do let me know what you think. Do you think I'm, I'm going mad? I've lost the plot. Am I doing well? 
what would you like to see more of uh, any tips comment down below but yeah YouTube is hard constantly creating videos weekly is is tough so yeah that's just what I wanted to tell you rain is approaching over there so I'm gonna dash out of here got back in the car just in time because uh, it looks like it's spitting a bit now a few little drops of rain which is never good with a drone but uh, a lovely place I highly recommend coming and checking it out and also amazing to see my DJI Mini 2 oh there's the rain it really is raining now my DJI Mini 2 can handle that wind so well so I'm pretty chuffed with that too anyway short little video for you and um, see you on the next one